Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be the next NFL video. Is this is going to be on um, the Cowboys actively discussing Lyle Collins to be traded, as well as the Eagles, the rival of the Cowboys, two NFC East teams we're talking about in this video, almost getting Calvin Ridley prior to his suspension due to gambling. Let's get right into it. First and foremost, please hit just like and subscribe down below to keep the channel going and growing. When it comes to Lyle Collins, teams reportedly interested in him, and he's set to earn $10 million next season. More than $6 million of his 2022 salary, according to the report, will be guaranteed on March 20th, and he'll account for $15.3 million cap charge. Uh, he has been a starter for the Cowboys since entering as an undrafted free agent. He's one of the top offensive tackles in the league. Uh, so you're definitely going to have a good bit, a chunk of teams interested in this guy. And I would envision them getting a good haul back for Lyle Collins. Why they have him on the trade block, I would have to say at this point, like I just got done <clears throat> um, saying with another, um, oddly enough, Collins, in a landing Collins, it's all money when it came to the Washington Commanders there. This is all money, I think, when it comes to the Dallas Cowboys. I don't think you want to lose a player to the degree of Lyle Collins. They're obviously envisioning future moves that they're making, or this is a move once they trade him, they have somebody on their radar or a hand shook thing or whatever have you of a deal done with somebody. So they need money, obviously, to play more, to build a team around Dak Prescott and the defense that they have so they can be more competitive. And they think getting assets for Lyle Collins or not having that over $15 million salary is going to help them more than having Lyle Collins on their team is going to help them next season. And we'll have to see how that plays out over time if they do end up trading Lyle Collins. When it comes to Calvin Ridley, we'll get into that now. The Eagles apparently came close to getting him. The Eagles almost had a deal done for Ridley last month. The Falcons backed out but weren't able to tell the Eagles why. While fortunately for us, the Falcons are a very moral football team and they backed out presumably knowing what was coming down the pike to Calvin Ridley, which in my own opinion, again, this is my own opinion, I think the suspension was a bit harsh because NFL glorifies gambling more than any particular league, even more than the NBA that really started the whole gambling wave. They glorify more than that. And um, you, you put down a whole year, you put down the whole Josh Gordon's been out so many years for smoking weed, well, then you have people that abuse people that are only suspended for handfuls of games. I don't think... It equates Molly Karam had a great um, rant and um, and statements about it on first take the other day. Probably some of the best things she's ever said, and I agreed with her on that, where it, it, it doesn't make sense the way the NFL does suspensions. But he is out for the year, at least next year, so it's a good thing the Eagles did not acquire Calvin Ridley, and it's a good thing the Falcons are a very moral team and were very nice about it and backed out of the deal, presumably, knowing even a month ago or a little bit over a month ago, depending when the Eagles first offered that trade per different reports, they were very nice about it. The Falcons, that is, and backed out, not giving the Eagles a reason why, which that was obviously the reason why. And then when it comes to Collins, it's something with the Collins. is Landon Collins uh, let go by the Commanders. Just did a video on that. Check that out on my channel. It's the last video I did uh, before this one. And then also Calvin Ridley, again, um, would have been moved to the Eagles, but he did not end up getting moved to the Eagles. But then Lyle Collins is going to be on the move, most likely, from the Dallas Cowboys to save up cap space. Still one of the best offensive tackles. Someone's going to pay him that $15 million some salary. And taking on all his money, to me, even though tackles are the second most important position, protecting your quarterback to actually having a good quarterback, um, I would say taking on all his money is a much more worth it task because I don't even consider it much of a risk compared to how the commanders took on all of Carson Wentz's money, which is a high-end risk, especially when you compound it with the fact that they got rid of one of the best secondary men in Landon Collins to help have the money for Carson Wentz. But everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This has been the latest NFL check-in as we talk about Calvin Ridley almost being traded to the Eagles before the Falcons pulled out, and then Lyle Collins being in trade room as the Dallas Cowboys star offensive tackle. Peace, everybody. Stay safe and enjoy the rest of the offseason.